بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Uh, in this video, we are going to explore our announcement maintenance uh, system. Uh, some uh, developers may call it help desk system. Uh, well, the main difference between our system and existing help desk systems is that we allow a maintenance company to log into the system. Right now, the way help desk systems operates like this. Uh, a user opens a ticket, then this ticket goes to uh, a responsible department, and this department may transfer it till it is closed. But the thing is, sometimes we need a maintenance company according to a maintenance contract. So this means that we need to send this ticket to an external company. So how this company is going to handle this ticket? This is what our system enables such company to log into the system. So this means using our system, you can transfer the ticket to an external maintenance company. And that company can log into the system and uh, does the processing of that ticket till it is closed. So it is sent back to the user in order to confirm that it is really closed. So right now, the way help desk systems work is that the user sends, maybe by fax or email, uh, uh, to a department or to a user. Uh, he's going to verify that uh, ticket, whether they can uh, directly uh, solve it or send, or they need to send to another company. So in order to send to another company, they send an email, which is very difficult in order uh, to follow up. And the thing is, there is no way to update the system. Some companies offer their own help desk systems so that the user should open that uh, ticket using that help desk system. But of course, if you have more than one uh, company, it becomes very difficult in order to follow up uh, the ticket. So this is the main thing that our system does, is that it enables the company, the maintenance company, to use the system. Okay, we are going to log into the system using uh, username and password. The system displays some statistics, the total open announcements, open announcement with no company, open announcement with company, total open internal announcement, and the total number of announcements. Now we are going to uh, navigate through the uh, screens of the system. Uh, in this screen, you manage your users. So this is a normal date of users, first name, last name, whether he's active or not, his mobile, his email, uh, where he exists with the region, unit, and department, and his type, whether system admin or unit admin or unit employee, along with his username and password. This is how he logins to the system. Now regarding privileges, we have a very uh, strong security system in privileges based on roles and groups. Now you create this role or group and you uh, grant that group those privileges of screens. And uh, you can grant also the standard operations of insert, update, delete and query for each screen. And here you add the users of that group. And in case we need some special privileges, this uh, depends on uh, uh, the organization that we implement the system at, uh, they can add many special, uh, as many special privileges as they need. Uh, this is implemented as per custom requirements. Now regarding the regions, sections, and units. Now you have the regions, this is the units, and this is the departments. Of course, uh, whenever I look into that screen, the system will filter by my uh, region. So uh, my region is in Riyadh, so the system will filter all data to display what is relevant to Riyadh only. So here you manage the regions, then units, then the departments. Now regarding failure responsibility, you have uh, specific failure types. So you add here the failure type and the department who is responsible for handling such type of failure. So whenever a ticket is opened using that failure, then this ticket is automatically sent to that 
department for processing. So it's an automatic work kind of uh, workflow to be sent to the responsible department directly. Of course, this is based on uh, system administ administrative settings. Now, companies, these are the companies uh, who is going to play the role of a maintenance company. So, they have their own username and password. Uh, this is, of course, uh, the username and password they are going to use to log into the system in order to receive the tickets open for them. Now, regarding the contacts, we have two types, admin and employee. Employee is the one who is notified if the ticket is uh, assigned to the company. And if there is any kind of escalation, then the escalation is sent to the company admin. So you need two types of users for each company, one uh, for handling tickets and one for escalations. Regarding the maintenance con uh, contracts, of course, each uh, organization has its own set uh, of contracts. Each contract has its own number, start date, end date, and the company responsible for the maintenance contract. Regarding hardware, of course, this is the hardware owned uh, by the organization, so you enter its description. Uh, the company uh, uh, owning that uh, contract and of course the system will display its name, start date and then date based on the contract used in order to import the, uh, this hardware. And in each contract to mention the serials of uh, the hardware details. Of course, once we have the serial, we can print a barcode uh, or any report regarding this hardware. Regarding the ports, these are the types of ports. Of course, you can add as much ports as you want. Regarding the message settings, these are uh, the messages on email and SMS notifications sent by the system. This is whenever you open a, in a new ticket or whenever you send a new message. Of course, in the system there is a capability in order to send a new message for each ticket. And uh, there is a notification if the status has been changed by the sending department. And uh, there is a notification if uh, the status of the ticket is changed by the maintenance company. And another notification if the status is changed from the department assigned uh, the ticket. If a maintenance company is assigned a ticket, then there is a notification. If the company changes, like if you assign the ticket to a specific company and then uh, you change it with another company, there is another notification. In case the ticket is transferred from one department to another, there is also a notification. And in case of escalation, there is also a notification. So a lot of notifications sent by email and SMS in order to allow notification for every uh, action in the system. This is regarding the system administrator or manager. Now regarding the transactions and operations, then you start by creating a ticket or an announcement. You mentioned its type, whether hardware or software, its uh, failure type. Based on this failure type, then the ticket will be sent to the department responsible for such failure as determined in failure responsibility. The rest of uh, the data is normal uh, thing. Once you create that uh, ticket, then it is sent to the responsible department. The responsible dep department should open the open announcement screen. There they can see whatever is open to them. Now you can transfer this and take it to another department or you can assign a company for this. So now when a company is assigned, they are going to log into the system to the same screen, open announcement to see what's open for them. Of course, once you determine a company, then you can escalate if this ticket is not solved in appropriate timing. 
if you want to send a message regarding this ticket then you can uh, send it from here once you create a message then it's going to be displayed to the one who's uh, uh, who will be receiving this message from here he can click here in order to see this uh, message sent to him Now we have some, uh, a specific type of tickets called antenna. Now, if uh, a department employee creates uh, a ticket, then we consider it antenna. But if a unit manager creates uh, a ticket, then we consider this as uh, like a directly open announcement that should go directly to a maintenance uh, company as per the company uh, determined in the screen of open announcement. Now, in case of internal uh, announcements, he can send so that it becomes an open announcement, or he can close it if he solve it, or if he sees that this should not be sent to a maintenance company. In case you need to search, then you have a lot of search fields. You can search. You can export. Uh, this data to an Excel sheet, you can display full data for this uh, ticket. You can scale this uh, ticket and you can print this ticket as well, like this. It displays a report uh, with the details of the ticket. So you have a lot of uh, information displayed here so that you can see the tickets along with its states. Regarding reports, we have reports, graphical reports. So whenever you see something like this, in the eastern uh, region, we have one, uh, one, one ticket opened. This is displayed here. And in Riyadh, we have 13. When you click on the bar itself, it displays the 13 opened tickets here. So uh, the bar graph is clickable. You can navigate the data uh, to be displayed in the table below. Also, you can uh, mention the chart type, whether it is bar or point. And even you can click the region in order to make it disappear and uh, recalculate the uh, percentages. If you click again, it is going to be displayed. This means in Riyadh we have almost 93% of the tickets and Eastern uh, region has almost 7% of the opened uh, tickets or the, of the total tickets. And of course you can filter by date whether it's from uh, and to. So uh, we have explored in uh, this video the capabilities of our uh, help desk system and as we said the main advantage we are offering is that this is web based system you can use it, use it through the internet and allow the maintenance company in order to log into the system in order to process the ticket so what we offer here is any types of customizations required as we own the source code so any type of customization can be offered and second thing being web based so we can allow the, uh, the company in order uh, to log on to the system and process the ticket. So this is very important in order to complete the cycle of the ticket. And third thing, uh, most of the help desk systems, maybe all, they offer the system based on uh, users. So for each new user, you must pay, uh, pay sub a license or subscription or whatever, but in our system, uh, we offer uh, any number of users. It's unlimited uh, number of users can use the system without extra fees. So uh, with these uh, advantages, we offer a very competitive system uh, to the market that can be used effectively in order to process the, fu the full cycle of the ticket till you can guarantee it is closed. In this video, we have explored our uh, help desk system along with its uh, advantages. Thank you.